I'm a teacher in a school, and because I, I'm really interested in doing this, my school has said, if you can do this, show us something and pilot it, and then we'll start funding it, we'll make this happen. Um, because I really don't like the way that they propose doing it. Um, this is, th the idea is a digital portfolio which somehow spreads out the work in a portfolio so that you can look at it as if it were a gallery, but the idea is just so that you can spread it out and see it and have things be open to sharing and interacting um, in multiple ways and um, so that you can organize the material in fun ways. So basically we just based, sort of went about making a prototype today in a wireframe sort of format here. So. Um, I don't know if you can really see up here, but I think it'll just, I'll just try to explain. There were sort of two layouts that we came up with. One would be a timeline, and in, it's, I guess it speaks for itself. And then the really interesting thing that happened and what came up over here was that what you want to be able to do with this material is if you need to tell a story or do a presentation, you could pull from the artifacts of your learning in your portfolio and tell that story um, and do it in a really compelling way using media that you could reference or connect to, which is all in the site. And one of the fun things that I guess came out of this was that somebody said, this is basically Ziga on top of Dropbox. So you use this storytelling documentary format, which pulls multiple media, um, mixed media, to draw from a storage, either a cloud storage or something like Dropbox or um, on your, that's sort of a, a point that we were trying to work out, but I think I'll let somebody else pick up on the more tech-oriented side of that. Uh, well, I guess That's you described you. well. Uh, yeah. Part of it, the idea was to just build on the existing practices of people. So rather than asking people to completely change the way they do things, and you know, uh, basically, if you build on something like Dropbox, you are just letting people to you know use their existing tools and, and access their data and visualizing it in a kind of more compelling way. Um, so the idea is just to extract data from Dropbox, basically, and show it through in different interfaces. But I mean, obviously, if you build something easy to use, it will be useful for everyone. But what we were thinking is like, you know, he has a lot of experience working with students, and he said that you know, students already use things like Word or you know, or I don't know, there are tools that people already use. So rather than asking them to come to a new site and build, like a lot of the galleries and portfolios are like, come to this website and build things using this tool, and that's kind of not necessarily the way people work. And the idea here is just like, just continue doing what you're doing we're gonna build a gallery, a portfolio for you out of the documents that you have in your hard drive. So Lisa, it's 